this from Wolfgang Puck, a celebrity chef and restaurateur. Welcome back, Wolfgang. We are so glad to have you, you back with us. Um, let's talk. Let's, I want to start uh, by asking you about inflation and how it is affecting you. Where is it biting hardest, uh, and how is it affecting what, how you have to price your meals? Well, you know, the inflation is here. It's reality. Everything has gone up over the last uh, year since the pandemic ended. You know, uh, we have less workers. People don't are uh, back to work yet. Uh, food prices have gone up. Uh, liquor prices have gone up. Uh, meat prices have gone up. So we really have to be smart and engineer our menu so that way people still perceive a value when they come to our restaurant. And at the end of the day, in the upscale restaurants, we are not just selling food. We are selling an experience. You know, you don't get that eating at home, making your own pasta or grilling mm -hmm. your steak or whatever. So that's a big difference. And I really believe we're going to get a lot of people from Europe coming to California, New York, and so on. People will eat out. It's hard to, it, I know it's a hard question to answer because it's different, certainly in different cities and you have different price points uh, in your restaurant. But the average ticket, um, how, what was it three years ago and what is it today for a person dining at one of your establishments? Well, I think uh, the average ticket has not actually gotten up as much. When I look at Cut, for example, our steak restaurant, you know, meat prices have gone up 20% at least. We did not raise 20%. We just engineered the menu a little smarter, not just to have the expensive cuts of meats like a, a ribeye or a filet or things like that, but also maybe to make a great bolognese or maybe make some braised meat. So that way we can get a better price and customers can get the value because we want people to feel good once they eat in our restaurant because they say, wow, the food, the service, the ambience are great, but also we made them feel good at the end. And I think that's what we really try to do. We want people to feel good when they eat at our restaurants, when they leave and say, we want to come back. Yes, it's expensive. We are not cheap. Unless you go to our restaurants at the airports, you know where it's really convenient. You know you're going to get a Wolfgang Park pizza or a Caesar salad or a Chinois chicken salad for a reasonable price. But in the upscale dining, you know, it's the most difficult, the most labor intensive, generally in the most mm -hmm. expensive locations. So let's, you have all the top lines, which are very high. Let's talk a little bit about business in general and how bookings are going. Are you seeing a, a strong demand? Is it leveling off a little bit? What? Well, I think in, in a lot of our restaurants, people don't book more than uh, two weeks, three weeks ahead. So I don't know yet in uh, summer, in July, August, how it will affect. We have to look a little bit at the hotels, how they are booking, because we get a lot of foreigners coming to New York or we get a lot of foreigners coming to Los Angeles and so forth. So if the hotels are busy, these people in hotels have to go out. For example, Las Vegas probably going to have one of the best summers uh, next to last year, probably. And, you know, the bookings seem very solid and people go to our restaurant. So if it's Cut or Spago or any of the places or uh, for example, at the Pendry Hotel, Miroir seem to be booking up really well, and it's really busy. And Spago is known all over the world. So I think we have the least to worry, probably, that people just want to come to Spago when they come to L.A. Absolutely. Wolfgang, always good to see you. Thank you for your insight and uh, a little glimpse at uh, the restaurant business right now. Wolfgang Puck, Thank thanks. You. Thank you.